What's up guys, it's Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to be looking at this route here from Jamar Chase. We're going to be talking about how you guys can run an out route, a 10-yard out route, especially on the goal line when you have an inside release, okay? So we're going to be talking about some of the key specific things you need to do to be able to react off of a DB, how you guys can structure your plan to make sure that this route goes well, and how you guys can react off a of DB when maybe your plan doesn't go well. So I hope this video gives you guys some value and it teaches you a few new things just about route running and what you guys can do to create some separation. But also, fellas, if you're a wide receiver and you want a full four-week gym training program and a full four-week on-field training program with specific drills and exercises to make you a better wide receiver combined, check out that very first link in the description for our ultimate wide receiver training schedule. So what you'll get access to is a four-week on-field plan, give you all the specific drills and exercises on the field that you need to do to become a better route runner, get better press releases, all the above with sets and reps, and you would get a four-week 28-day wide receiver gym plan. Both plans combined together coincide with each other. All the days match up to help you guys become a better wide receiver. Hope you guys could check that out very first link in the description. Let's get started. So this router from Jamar Chase, he does a great job of not forcing the release and then working obviously this little hip shift kind of rocker step at the top of this route. Okay, so let's talk about it. So when we come off the line of scrimmage here and we got to run an out route, a 10 yard out and we got a DB who's maybe a little bit outside shade. Again, I don't want to force this thing. What I don't want to do is I don't want to come up to him and then try to force it to the outside, give myself no space with the sideline and this DB is going to be right on my hip because that quarterback has to throw that thing at the perfect moment, put this thing in the perfect spot for this day. I even have a chance to work, right? So we cannot force this specific release, especially against man coverage. So when I got this DB who's outside shade, fine. Let's give him a move to the outside. Let's try to get him sitting to the outside. If I take the inside release, there's two things that I could do right here. But I just got to make sure that I have a plan for both of these things and then I can execute both of these things. So anytime I get the inside release on an out route, especially when a DB doesn't have hands, number one thing, number one mindset should be on any type of man coverage is that I'm going to try to restack. Because when you restack, this DB is going to be watching your hips. So you can give a shift to the inside. You can give a rocker step. You can give a heavy cut. You can maybe work a peak back move. There are a lot of different things that you can do when you're able to restack. So if you guys are lucky enough to be able to get a free release without this DB getting hands on you and you have an inside release and it's an outside breaking route, do the best you can to restack. Okay. So now you see when Chase goes to restack right here, he does a great job of kind of slowing that tempo up a little bit, then giving that move to the outside. Again, throwing his hip to the inside. This is the spot that we want to be at, fellas. This maybe isn't the most explosive move in the world that you see a lot of guys do, like a guy like Jerry Judy, right? When he makes a rocker step at the top of the break, he really throws that upper half. And you can absolutely do that. But honestly, this DB just got, if his eyes are high like this, it should be easy money. I could just give a little head and shoulder fake to the inside and he'll jump. But when I can really sell with my whole entire upper half, my shoulders and my hips go in this direction. I'm actually stepping in this direction. I'm not just giving a little short choppy step. That's what's going to get this DB to commit. When this DB commits, a couple different things I need to do right here. I got to make sure that I accelerate and know the situation we're at. Know that Burrow is going to be getting this thing out quick. So let's snap my eyes around fast. Let's make sure I pump those arms and I continue to widen the gap with this DB. That's a great job there by Chase. Now let's talk about one more thing. What if you were to go in this position and let's say the DB does keep hands on you. Let's say he opens it up well. And let's say he's running hip to hip with you at this point. So let's say when Chase gets up to right here, he's got a DB right here, right next to him. What's something that you could do? You got to throw him by. That's how you guys got to be thinking as a receiver. What can this DB do to screw up this play? What can he do to make sure to take this thing away? It's got to be a reaction, right? Because you can't be thinking about all this stuff on the field. You can't walk out on the field and go, okay, I'm going to do this, 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 and this and then the ball snapped and you're still thinking and then you're playing slow at the end of the day the goal is to play fast and to be able to get separation because i'm playing fast and i know what i'm doing and i know how to execute right so you got to have that repetition just those situations built into your brain that okay i'm if i take an inside release on this i'm going to work to restack or i'm going to throw a bye those are the only two options that we have we really don't have anything else if i get an outside release i'm going to work to restack or i'm going to give him a little lean with my with my um inside arm here to create some separation there's only uh there's only a handful of ways to do this type of thing, especially in this situation. So you've got to make sure that you have a plan off the line. You have a reactionary plan in case your plan doesn't work so you can still execute and you keep pushing to obviously win the route. Let's watch the thing again, full speed one more time. Great example of what to do when that DB takes away the outside release and you got to run a 10 yard out. Let's watch it again, full speed. Great job by Chase restacking, giving that little head and shoulder fake to the outside and making this play back to the out. All right, guys, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to leave those in the comments below. I will get back to you as soon as I possibly we can. I always appreciate the feedback. I always appreciate the things you guys have to say. It um, really helps me come up with new ideas for videos. So I definitely appreciate it. Hope this video gave you guys some value, but also fellas, ultimate wide receiver training schedule. If you want all the specific things wide receivers need to do in the gym and on the field, broken down into specific sets, rest periods, conditioning days, all the above. And we include a 30 minute long video where we break down each day of the on field plan. We talk about all the drills, the importance of the drills, and we show you full speed examples of each one. Hope you guys could check
check it out. Very first link in the description. I'll see you guys next time.